for the Wolfpack, and that's the flamboyant and uh, smooth Clyde the Glide Austin from Richmond, Virginia, now a junior, averaging almost 18 points a game and leading the Wolfpack in scoring a team under Norm Slow moving into his 13th season and promises to be one of the very best in the nation. The University of Maryland under Lefty Grizzell, who begins his 10th year here, a young team, but one that has Larry Gibson, a very solid player at center to build around. And the young players, well, they're great ones. There's Albert King, who was the nation's top recruit a year ago and had perhaps a little bit disappointing freshman year, but he's back as a sophomore. He's recovered from an injured knee, averaging 13.6 points a game for Brooklyn, New York, and Albert will have a yacht of young playmates uh, helping him this year. Foremost of those, out of Rocky Mount, North Carolina, heavily recruited Buck Williams, a 6'8 freshman who is already hitting 62% of his shots and averaging over 12 rebounds a ball game. This is Buck Williams, and you're going to be hearing a lot about him for the next three or four years in Atlantic Coast Conference basketball. Look at that. That's just an example of this Maryland team that will also have Reggie Jackson and Dutch Morley, two other freshmen coming in there, with sophomore Ernest Graham. So this is a team that depends heavily on sophomores and freshmen around the senior center, Larry Gibson. They won four out of two, but the two losses were to nationally ranked teams teams, Nevada, Las Vegas, and Georgetown, the undefeated uh, team, sister team here in the Washington, D.C. area that's having the greatest season ever this year. Referees for the game, Jim Hernjack on your left is the referee, and he'll be assisted by Paul Hausman and Lou Moser. That's our scouting report on tonight's game. We'll be back with the starting lineups and the opening tip-off after this message. We have the... The last time these two teams played, they accounted for 217 points in a memorable, unprecedented triple overtime tournament game in Greensboro. And we're looking for another high-scoring affair here tonight. North Carolina State leads the ACC in scoring, and Maryland ranks fourth, but only less than two points per game average behind the Wolfpack. Both averaging over 82 points a game. Now for the lineup, let's go down to Billy Packer. Welcome to this year's first ACC Conference basketball game. Two teams tonight, North Carolina State and Maryland. First of all, for the visitors of North Carolina State University. At one forward position, a junior from Washington, D.C., Hawkeye Whitney. Member of the University of Maryland, a sophomore from Brooklyn, New York, Albert King. Tiny Pender. And for Maryland, from Rocky Mount, North Carolina, freshman Buck Williams. At the center position, a sophomore from southeastern Massachusetts, Craig Watts. And a senior from Baltimore, Maryland, Larry Gibson. At the guard position, a junior from Richmond, Virginia, Clyde Austin. Sophomore from Baltimore, Maryland, Ernest Graham. And at the other guard spot, a senior from Raleigh, North Carolina, Tony Warren. And for Maryland, sophomore from Steel, PA, Greg Manning. Wolfpack is coached by Norm Sloan, the therapist by Lefty Giselle. Lefty Giselle with 360 victories to his credit. Norman Sloan with 446. Two outstanding records in college basketball from the coaching standpoint. Lefty uh, here in uncharacteristic plaid sports jacket. Usually goes for the more subdued uh, three-piece suit. While down the way, Norm Sloan, very manly attired in a light three-piece suit by contrast. Now at center court, Jim Hernjack waiting. We have three of the veteran officials of the ACC here, incidentally, as you, we mentioned, Hernjack, Moser, and Hausman. Maryland will be in the white, and uh, North Carolina State in the red. Both schools fight for the red and white colors. It'll be Larry Gibson for Maryland against Craig Watts for NC State. State ranked number four in the nation, right behind Duke, Notre Dame, and Michigan State. The tap control by whom? By Maryland. Hold down by Williams, and the Terrapins look over the attack. 
Man for man defense by North Carolina State. This is what Maryland likes to attack. There goes Albert King flying over his man. Rebound is taken down by Hawkeye Whitney. Now State with their fast breaking attack. Maryland man for man, and it's Clyde Austin being guarded by Manning, who had trouble, back to a pass, broken up, but recaptured by Hook by uh, Clyde Austin, and an offensive rebound pulled up at the inside by Pender, and then hauled down by other team. Neither team has scored as yet, we're in the first 35 seconds. Ernest Graham is the leading scorer for Maryland, there's his spin shot, a whistle underneath, and a pushing off foul on Tiny Pender. Colin Fowl will give Maryland the ball for an inbounds play over the end line. Billy now has moved back to her booth, so we're getting the action. Nobody has scored. Yet. They set up this play for Graham. Amazing, Jim, how much Graham has been in the offense this year, even though he didn't start early in the season for one game. He has taken more shots from the field than anybody in the Maryland team by a considerable margin. Maryland gets the first two points of the game. Now off the ball, another whistle. Lou Moser spotted some holding in here, and I think this is going to be against Buck Williams, the freshman. Buck and Hawkeye going after each other. There's some super athletes on this court tonight. Our first chance to see that fellow from Rocky Mount. We were usually talking about somebody else when the name Rocky Mount came up, but... Uh, Buck has been sensational in early season. Referring to Phil Ford, of course. It'll be uh, North Carolina State's ball. Well, they're calling the foul on Hawkeye Whitney. I think what he's going to call is a double foul situation now. That means the jump ball. Now, wait a minute. There'll be no jump balls, Billy, in this league. So right. who got the tip? Maryland? I think it's NC State's ball. Well, what, We're right what back we, where we started. Right, huh? What they did is call a foul both on Buck and on Hawkeye. And, of course, we go back to reverting. For those people that didn't see uh, some of the early games, is the way the arrow is pointed, that particular team going in that direction gets the ball out. And the reason here is that Maryland got the opening tip. So North Carolina State has the ball. Inside pass, reaching over, fouling is William or is Graham. That's the uh, first foul on Ernest Graham, second team foul against the Terrapins. Calling him very closely. Warren now goes down to tell uh, Clyde Austin the play they want for the inbounds play. Mar let's see, Maryland looks like they're in the zone. They're in the zone for the inbounds play. Let's see if they stick to it. And if, I think Tony Warren went over the side and talked to Norm Sloan about getting in the offense because Maryland surprised him by being in that man-to-man -man early. Inside the watch, his bounce pass went right through the legs of Tiny Pender. No place for a bounce pass, it slipped him a little soft, and in there would have been a good play. Good movement on the part of State to get the ball that deep into the zone. Now State back in the zone, a 1 3 1 coming out of the match a little bit. They want to cut off Maryland's inside power game, I'm sure, Bill. And also take away some of that one on one play. Great uh, play by Warren. Yep, a good play. Uh, nice fast break. And there goes Clyde Austin on the fast break. And the rebound down by Maryland. Outlet pass. And Manning can't control it as Hawkeye Whitney goes for it. Manning loses it out. It'll be State's ball. And Lefty is beside himself. That was a super play that time by Albert King in the rebound. Now they change the decision. Norm Sloan upset. Lefty went ahead and made the signal long before that time. You can tell it's ACC season, Jim. Well, there's another point here, Bill, where the three officials really help out because that was a tough play to call, and there was a man who had a better angle, obviously. Well, Norm figured he had a better angle than Lefty, though, because he was on that end of the court. <laughs> well, the ACC season is underway, folks. <laughs> Two to nothing, Maryland in the lead. Weak side pass. There's Graham. He'll let it go. Rebound is taken by Gibson. Manning penetrating, hooks it to Albert King, who's open. Good looking pass by Manning. He didn't try to put his head down as we used to see last year. Made the good flip over. And of course, King is a picture jump shooter. Now Maryland's back at the man for man. The switching defenses every time down. Outside shot by Warren. Soft one, partially blocked. Rebound off by Williams. Knocked down his own teammate to get it. Manning feeding to Gibson on the fast break. Once again, Manning, very smart play that time. Pulled up instead of trying to go through the pack. Gibson's another guy that has good range in that jump shot. 
6-0, Maryland getting the jump. Inside, Whitney fumbles it out. It'll be Maryland's ball. Another turnover by NC State. And they've not been sharp in their inside ball handling game thus far. Well, they haven't, and one of the reasons Clyde Austin's not getting a chance to handle the ball to set up the offense. They better get it back to Clyde and give him a chance to get things started. Manning looking for a screen. Rebound comes back outside. Let's see if it was touched by a state player. It was. Six foot seven. Oh, good screen for Woody. Boy, did they screen off the back door that time for Williams and got him free. Maryland's got the first eight points of the ball game. Now here's Warren down the middle, and there's a whistle. It's his blocking foul on Maryland. Getting in there too late was Gibson. I don't know about you, Bill, but I'll tell you, Gibson and Williams and Graham look an awful lot alike from this distance. Well, they all have such great size out there. Here we're going to see the play. Tony Warren really not making a good play here, trying to go in too far. Gibson moved up, didn't hold his ground. Good call by the official. Back live, and there's a whistle. They were holding Watts, and they got a foul on Gibson. That's two on Larry Gibson, and the fourth team foul on Maryland. Maryland's very deep in a lot of positions, but they need Larry Gibson in that center in the crucial situations. That's two quick fouls in a row. And you saw Larry's uh, Glenn set up, who's now checked to the NC State lineup. Lob yeah. play into Warren. A set play to Tony Warren, underrated player he is. And State's got his first pass. Jim, that's one of the weaknesses of playing that zone out of bounds. You really don't have definite coverage. Man can slide through. There goes Graham again. He doesn't hesitate to fire it. He shot more than any other Maryland player, but he's hitting almost 52% from the field. You can't argue with that. 10 to 2 the score, another eight point lead. Pender starts a drive, and he's fouled by Williams. They're really calling them close. Second foul on Williams. Now that's what's tough for a young freshman to try to stay up with a Hawkeye Whitney who's moving very well without the ball. Buck Williams trying to cut him off, but it's really difficult to do. You see him coming across the lane. Williams really well coached because he was trying to cut off that passing lane. He just got caught with a foul. Not a shooting foul. It'll be NC, NC State ball for about fast. Gibson's getting a rest now, and they brought Taylor Baldwin in to replace him. Outside shot by Austin. Clyde Austin hitting on the outside. That's the first one he's taken from the perimeter. Ten to four. State cuts it back to six. State trying to pick up a little bit higher now. Good reverse by Manning. There goes a drive down floor by Manning. And the rebound set up. Gets up. Nice lead pass down to Tony Warren for an easy one. And a technical foul. Warren grabbing the rim. Well, Tony was a little exasperated, I think, from the fact that they weren't getting any offense. Did a little bit of extra on that particular play, and of course it was a good call. Here he is, a great pass by Clyde Austin. Here you'll see him hanging onto that rim. It's something you obviously can't do. Now there's a timeout on the court. The score, Maryland 10, North Carolina State 6. Shooting the technical foul is Greg Manning. He ranks second in the Atlantic Coast Conference in free throw percentage, over 86%. Of course, Lee Raker's just been perfect, 19 for 19 in Virginia. Now, after the technical free throw, Maryland gets the ball in midcourt, leading by 5, 11 to 6. They screen it off for Manning. He's the point guard. He'll share those duties this year, some with Dutch Morley, some with Reggie Jackson. Live pass in the inside. There's Albert King. Nice fake in there. Rebound hauled off by Pender. Long pass is tip, but Warren has got it. Oh, block, but Warren is fouled by Graham. Great play right there by Tony Warren just to control that ball because it was tipped by Ernest Graham. Kind of like a fella going out for a long pass and having it tipped and still having the concentration to make the catch. You see the long pass. Now, what's happening? Manning's getting himself caught under. There was that concentration I spoke of. And, of course, it goes to show you what kind of player Graham is to be able to re recover that way and almost make a great block. Here's the outstanding free thrower for the North Carolina State team, Tony Warren. He's perfect this year. 12 for 12 on a team that suffered from the line. 61% as a team. That's his first miss of the year. Jim, so far, Maryland's been vulnerable on that long pass, Warren breaking long. And that would happen to you if you had a team that had one guard that really likes to penetrate and another big guard like Graham that likes to rebound. 
Now Dutch Morley in there spots his man. Graham has got a two-on-one, and a pass is tipped out of bounds off the fingertips of Albert King. Another good call, and State did a good job that time because they were defensively at wrong odds. Well, the same kind of delective, del- deflected pass situation, Jim. At that time, Albert King wasn't able to reach back and get it. Tony Warren now has been replaced. And the lineup's Kenny Matthews. Another Washington area player, Hawkeye Whitney, going under to Tiny Pender. Tipped up and in by Sutup. 11-9, and State has now fought its way back to cut it to two after trailing by eight. Graham penetrating on the move. Ernest Graham, six point. He's a lot of the more sophomores hot. He's a lot quicker than he looks. A terrific crossover dribble that time to get open. 13-9, Clyde Austin, another whistle off the ball, and the foul's on Glenn Sutup. Ball control foul, and battling Taylor Baldwin. And Billy, the action off the ball here tonight has been about as good as you'd want. Well, it is, and partic- particularly when you talk about the uh, situation where they're moving without the ball. Now, here we're going to see the play. Pender comes up with a beautiful shot, left hand, almost a good rebound by Taylor Baldwin, and then comes Glenn Sutup in there, and once again, that play is almost always illegal because that ball is in the cylinder before the dunk, but uh, wasn't called that time. Thir- Tough play for the official. 13-9 to nine the score. Four-point lead by Maryland. Here's oh. Graham again looking for... I know he has a lot of moves. Now Dutch Morley, freshman guard for Maryland. Rebound by Sutup, and Sutup is fouled by Taylor Baldwin. A freshman from Greenwich, Connecticut. Born in Bombay, number 54. I'll be honest with you, Jim, the action on the big fellas right under the basket because they are setting solid screens, getting a little bit out of hand. They're throwing some elbows, and a guy, you know, six foot eleven that weighs 225 or 230 really hurts somebody if that elbow gets away. They need to calm down a little bit. Art Jones coming in the lineup for the first time for North Carolina State. Larry Gibson returns for Maryland. And John Bilney has come in for Maryland, too, replacing Taylor Baldwin. The Holly Farm Scholarship Award, a $1,000 grant, is presented to the office of the ACC Commissioner through the school of the outstanding player of this game as chosen by the game announcers. Then set out for the one and one The bonus begins for State. Rebound off by Larry Gibson. Pass intended for building off his fingertips. It's been a fast-tempo game, and you'll have turnovers like that, but they hurt. Well, there's a situation, Jim, with only a four-point lead, and Maryland started off so strong, you want to get back into your offense again, and probably not a good idea to throw that lob. Kenny Matthews, ex- excellent shoot on the outside, is now in there. Now you see the motion attack here, long one by Clyde Austin, outside, rebound is taken in by Art Jones for State, Jones in the lanes. Art Jones on the follow-up and State again has cut it to two, 13-11. No, Jim, Art Jones is starting to get very offensive-minded when he gets the ball on the inside. He was a little impatient early, but looks good now. Why can you believe that, Ernest Graham? Unconscious. 15-11, Maryland by four. Hawkeye Whitney has not cut loose yet for State. Jones on the inside. Jones fighting, whistle, walks. It'll be Maryland's ball. Two more changes. Reggie Jackson in for Maryland. Tony Warren returns for NC State. Both of these people will go to their bench, and both really have a bench. There's Jackson coming in the ball game, supposed to be one of the top young freshman players in the country, and he's the second guard substitute. As a young backcourt, you'd think with two freshmen, you might. There goes Graham again. Rebound off this time to Tony Warren. The pass was broken up by Graham. Graham off the floor hits Bilney. Blind pass to Gibson. Larry Gibson on the right. Beautiful pass by John Bilney. Off the dribble, one-handed. Good play. 17-11, Maryland. And here is a royal walking violation again. This time against Kenny Matthews. State's turnovers continue to mount. And Maryland holds the lead. But what a defensive play a moment ago by Graham. We're having a little breakup right here. It was a fine play by Graham, and what made it so good is he was really hustling back in the defensive end of the floor. Full court pressure defense now by NC State, man for man. You know, Jim, even last year when Maryland was having some rough times, Graham showed us that he had total confidence in his game. And now that he's getting to play full time, looks like he thinks he can score anytime he wants to. 
Now, Bilney got an open hook for the left-hand hook, draws the foul on what? Bilney had an open move to his left. He felt that instinctively and drew the foul on what? First foul on him, team foul number four, but this will be a two-shotter here for John Bilney. There's a case for our young players to watch. Bilney's a right-hander and more accustomed coming across the lane with the right hand. That time he used his left. Obviously, he doesn't use it with the same quickness he would his right. He got fouled, but the importance of being able to shoot with both hands is just something every, but every young player ought to work on. Bill, we've only played seven minutes, and 17 players have played in this game. And, Jim, I think you said it right, 17 players, because every one of these guys uh, can really play the game of basketball. Deep benches. Bill, he thanks it in. Unusual 18. That looked like a give up shot there off the re free throw of about two handed bank. There we see Maryland going out with a full court zone press. Baseline shot is a whistle underneath. The foul's going to be on R. Jones. He was blocked out. Number one on Jones. Jim, I want to mention something about that full court zone press that Maryland tried. When you have a young team like this and it's early in the season, you're trying to put in a lot of defenses or offensive structures. There they, they did well on the press, but when they got back down in their half-court situation, they weren't set up. And the press turns over the ball here, forcing Morley to come down out of bounds. And it'll be stage ball, so pressure defense against the freshman backcourt of Reggie Jackson and Rich Morley pays off. But I started to say a moment ago, Bill, Morley and Jackson are not your basic freshmen. Now, Morley, of course, a very savvy type ball player. There he comes with a big steal. And sees Bilney and doesn't hit him with the ball right away. Hangs on. And they broke a breakup by Watts. Turns into a walk by Craig. And the ball goes right back to Maryland. But he did break up Bilney, getting the layup. Beautiful steal by Dutch Morley. 18-11, Maryland. There's Morley. Of course, zone defense again by State 2 3 this time. There goes Graham. Way out. <laughs> Ten points for Ernest Graham. And Maryland's got its biggest lead, nine points at 20 to 11. Hawkeye Whitney yet to score over Bilney. Rebound is taken off by Maryland. Here comes Reggie Jackson on the fast break. Jackson on the drive. Tough shot. Jackson up again. Block. Whistle. Foul. Against State. It'll be on Craig Watts. Number two on him, and I think a two-shot foul coming here from Maryland. Well, Jackson really showed some open field work out there. He's built like a fullback, very smooth. Twelve minutes to go in the first half. There's timeout on the court with a score. Maryland 20 and North Carolina State 11. Here we're going to see Jackson coming down the floor, and smart move that time by Hawkeye Whitney not to try to go in and make the foul, but watch Jackson putting on the moves with the left hand, little shuffle, goes in. That's a tough shot when you're flying right in at the basket, but he's a power guard and goes up, gets his own rebound. Actually, he could play some forward, too. Good block by Watts on his part, but there was a foul from behind. Two shots. Reggie Jackson, not the man for the candy bar, but Lefty Drizelle says they're going to sell the bar here anyway this year. Freshman from Philadelphia, a basketball rich city. He's going to back off the line in that one. Ten point lead. Here's that zone press again. And Clyde Austin really recognizes well. He beats it. He's got somebody to hit in the clear. Hawkeye Whitney has yet to score for State. Now Tony Warren is open for State. So Warren comes through. He has scored seven of State's 13 points, 21 to 13. That's a good move by Billy that time to come up and create a passing lane with a guard in trouble. Oh, Graham again. 12 points for Ernest Graham. A sophomore from Baltimore. He has been red hot. 23-13 again. State's uh, trailing by 10 as they attack against the man from man. Craig Watts on the short hook. Rebound. Oh, strong rebound the inside by put up again and in by Parsich. Scott Parsich is freshman from Lockport, Illinois. Excellent positioning that time. He's not a great leaper, but shows what positioning can do. Here goes Graham again. He's always a threat. He spots Bill in the open. 
Rebound will be taken by Gibson. You'll notice that Norm Sloan's made a change. He put Hawkeye Whitney on Graham. He's going to play him like a forward. Rebound is to a good block in there by Watts. They had a set play going. And with the Gibson playing a uh, high post, the Gibson's pass is blocked off. So Norman and Sloan making counter moves defensively to try and stop Ernest Graham. He's been killing him. Albert King has come back in. King has not been in the attack hardly at all. Only two points, and Hawkeye Whitney's yet to score. Two big names for their teams. Now with King back in the ball game, you have a situation where Whitney has to pick him up. Good pass inside. Yep. Uh, will not count. That was a pushing off foul underneath against North Carolina State. It's whistled on Craig Watts, and that's going to be his third if our count is correct. And we're not yet at the midway point in the first half with Maryland leading 23 to 15. Good penetration by Morley on the outside that time. A very good touch pass inside. Jim, you talked about the set play about 30 seconds ago on that blind pick. There is a case where the man who's making the pass has got to get it down on the floor and not try to loop it over the top. Missed by Williams is pulled off by, by Hawkeye Whitney, and now North Carolina State comes back trailing by uh, eight. Parsich. Austin driving on Morley and draws the foul. Oh, he turned it over. I think what happened, the ball got caught on his thigh and he put it back down the floor, but good positioning by Morley. Sharp young player. Good pass to Dutch. Morley, Morley driving, puts it up inside. Rebound hauled off by Hawkeye Whitney with authority. This is hometown. He wants to look good. Here's Hawkeye with his first score of the night. Hawkeye Whitney connecting 23 to 17. Albert King coming across. Inside Gibson on the follow. For Maryland, six points for Gibson. Nice little two-man game by Gibson and Albert King down there on the screen. 25 to 18 is the Maryland lead. Tony Warren hooking across. Gets it behind his ear. And a personal foul is against Maryland on Dutch Morley. That'll be Morley's first. And State is in the bonus. Tried to jump in there on Tony Warren. That's the second time Tony's put his head down and gone through the middle. Both times he's able to draw it. A blocking situation for him, but uh, really you have to wonder where he intended to go with it if he had been inside. Art Jones returning. Norman Sloan wants to talk with Hawkeye Whitney, who has not been able to get on track. He scored just two points in the first uh, ten minutes plus. Tony Warren at the line, one and one. We told you he's the best three for the state. He's at 13 out of 14 this year, and he's only one for three here tonight. Marley. Clearing it up now to Jackson, over to Albert King for the easy one. Beautiful pass. Maryland beating the press to go back up by 10. 27 to 17 equals their longest lead. Jones threw it away, and White Austin cannot recover it. Another turnover by State, and Maryland will get the ball with a 10-point lead. Then Sutton is back in for a watch. Jim, there. I'll be honest with you. I think State, in their own way, underrated the team they were going to play tonight in Maryland. And... That's a very difficult thing to do, of course, in this league or any league. And right now they're up against a real good college basketball team that's young and is really enjoying the lead. King into Gibson. Uh, rebound will come back out to Reggie Jackson for Maryland. Boy, talk about some really tight defense played by State. There goes Jackson spinning in clear. Super play. 29 to 17. Maryland's up by 12 with 8.50 to go in the first half. They whistle off the ball again, and it is a personal foul against Maryland. This will have stayed another one-on-one -one opportunity. Personal foul is on Bilney, I think, for holding. Helps on Reggie Jackson. What's happening right now, Maryland's trying to beat the state players to the ball when they cross in that motion offense, and they're just getting called for holding. Tony Warren will go back to the line. So often we've been accused of jinxing players, which of course has no basis at all. So I'm not going to mention Tony's three-point percentage this time. 29-17 <laughs> the score. Taylor Baldwin, a freshman center, comes back in replacing Ray Gibson. Both coaches able to go to the bench with young players and still not lose that much in effectiveness. 
That's Morley on the tip out, coming down on the break. Morley to Jackson, and it's put up on the inside by Gibson. Tip back out to Morley. Maryland will set it up. Well, I tell you, Morley's got a lot of poor polish for a freshman. Albert King a little upset there, thought he was fouled and goaltended. Oh, what a shot! And he's fouled on the play by Art Jones. Albert King cutting loose. Possible three-point play. Jim, these shots that the Maryland players are making are outstanding shots. I mean, they're not actually even jumpers. They're turnaround jumpers off the dribble. And only the great players make these shots. In a crowd, Bill, look. He's going down here. It's going to be a turnaround jump shot almost from the deep corner, and he drilled it. Incredible shot. Possible three-point play. Maryland's up by 14 points with eight and a half minutes to go on the half. Make it 15. Well, you can't fault anybody from NC State defensively. You say, uh, you know, you, I'm on the man. But the shots that Graham and Jackson and King have been making are just uh, phenomenal shots. Hawkeye Whitney returns for State. Zone press by Maryland. Maryland doing a great job keeping State off balance with these defenses. There's a pushing off foul, and it's against Maryland on Reggie Jackson. Going for the loose ball. Number two on Jackson. Maryland's piling up a lot of fouls. That's four players now with two apiece. A foul a moment ago, I said, which might have been against Craig Watts, was not. It was on Tony Warren, which is his first. So Watts still with two. Lefty, very reserved. Joe Harrington to his left, and Will Jones was right. And here's Norman Sloan down at the state bench. Talking things over. Well, I'm sure what Norman would like to see is his team, first of all, make some fouls, I guess. But he'd like to see him get in some kind of an offense. Maryland's really kept him off base so far. 15-point lead by the Terrapins. Albert King going up, fires. And it'll go out to Maryland. Boy, King, amazing even to get off that shot. And he lost the ball in midair on a decent defensive play and then still got off a shot that was almost on the mark. He and, wants it now. Yep, there's Albert King and put up on the inside again by Bill and then pulled down by Tiny Pender. State moving back to the attack. They're down by 15. Clyde Austin out of the corner of the glide hitting for North Carolina State. Hero of the NIT semifinal went over Georgetown. 32 to 19. And I think Jim working into one of the best guards in the United States. There's a foul that will be on Austin. Well, he reached in that time, and State's getting very anxious right now. First foul on Clyde Austin, number three. And with seven and a half minutes to go, there's timeout on the court for the score. Maryland 32 and North Carolina State Knights. Presented by the authority of the Atlantic Coast Conference and the C.D. Chesley Company. Any use of this program without written consent is prohibited. The announcers on this program have been approved and contracted for by the C.D. Chesley Company. 7.33 to go in the first half from Cole Fieldhouse in Maryland. We'll be naming a player of the game here for the Holly Farm Scholarship Award. Presented through the office of the ACC Commissioner. And it's going to be a tough choice as things stand right now. We've had some outstanding performances. At the line, Dutch Morley for Maryland. One and one. Just a freshman, but he leads the Atlantic Coast Conference in assist average over six a game. That's ahead of Jim Spinarkel, a pretty fair player for Duke. Morley out, Manning in. This Maryland team is really deep at guard. Ernest Graham, who tore up the ball game early, hadn't been back in here for the last three or four minutes, and they hadn't missed him a bit. 34 19, and Clyde Austin throws it away for State. Another turnover for the Wolf Pack. They picked up a couple of easy baskets, but they've also thrown it away with those long passes. Well, they have that Maryland full court zone press, although it doesn't seem to be that aggressive, is very well positioned, giving State a lot of trouble. Jackson on the inside of Taylor Ball, and big 6 11 guy dribbling up. Manning penetrating. Now back outside, Reggie Jackson. Lob pass here goes Albert King. King driving, firing. And rebound will be a foul by King. Holding. Boy, Albert King really wants to get into the floor of things. Seven points he scored thus far. And he's been very active each time he's been given the ball. That was his first foul. I think when he got fouled down here early, he just got himself to the point that he wants to take that ball to the basket. And here he comes down. He creates a shot right there on the way back down 
Good, good defensive play by Glenn Sutup. And here you see the foul with Albert reaching back in there. Hawkeye Whitney at the other end on the one and one. Stayed off the mark on free throws tonight. They've been very costly. Jim is at four or five misses in the front end of the one and one. It's one or the other. It's four. Four in a row. That's amazing. A steal by Clyde Austin. This will be an easy one. On the duck. By the glide. Moving in to score for North Carolina State. It's a very important Andrew timing Jackson right here. Now in danger of losing it again. But Jackson holds on. 34-21 the score. Maryland in the lead. Jackson driving his man, banks it in, but it won't count. There's a ball control foul. An illegal screen. They were moving on the block, and it cost Maryland the basket and Gill State the ball. And I think that's Jackson's third, and so Ernest Graham's going to come back in there now. He's had a good rest. I think Maryland, for the last two or three times down the court, has gotten away from their offense, and that can really hurt you. That's what took State out of the game early. 13-point lead by the Terrapins. Uh, they're back in a zone defense now against State. Now past the inside to set off for the height. The big fellow's got it on the inside. Using Glenn Sutup's seven foot two inch frame to cut the lead back to 11. 34 23. That had to be a pinpoint pass because against that zone, they had plenty of size in there. Manning on the outside. Rebound by Hawkeye Whitney. State blocking out. Better off the boards now. You notice, Jim, Maryland isn't passing that ball around like they did before. Brian Austin back that six points in a row now for Maryland. They're fighting their way or for State. They're coming back, cutting the lead back to nine. Lefty wants a timeout, Bill. Yeah, he needs one badly because his team just gotten away from their offense. Yep, there it is. Timeout for Maryland with five minutes and 42 seconds to go in the first half. A timeout on the court and the score. Maryland 34 and North Carolina State 25. Well, it's really difficult, Jim, when you're making the kind of shots that they were making. And here's where you have to kind of go along with Norm Sloan and say, well, they're not going to continue to make those kind of shots. Let's just keep playing solid defense. Manning, not like that. Oh, Manning takes it right in. Manning lost his man. Nobody picked him up. Backs return. 36-25. Maryland breaks its uh, cold spell. Go back up by 11. And they have Ernest Graham not realizing the defense right now. They're a little bit out of whack. And there goes Hawkeye Whitney. Rebound is taken down by uh, Buck Williams. Well, he's a great rebounder, and the fact that he moves his feet well and shuffles to get under the ball and then just extends himself up when he doesn't commit early. Manning, good penetration by Manning, and here's the long pass to Hawkeye Whitney, and Whitney will dunk it. And that's going to happen, Jim. Every time you get a penetrating guard and another big man that likes to rebound, you're never going to have anybody back. Manning creates that situation a great deal, and when Graham going in for the rebound, State recognizes and goes the length of the floor. 36 to 25. Here they are, back in the offense, getting everybody involved in the game again. And there goes Ernest Graham. Not the good shot. There, there he is again. again. Easy pass here to Matthews. Well, two easy ones in a row, and State's right back in it. 36 to 29, back to seven. Robert King won that ball, but they need to get back in the offense. Still some tough shots that they take. And here's Williams on the inside with a follow-up. Oh, that was Ernest Graham again. Graham with 14 points. Now Graham's playing a man-to-man. -man. A and good tip in on the inside. And the rest of the Maryland players are playing zone right now. I'm sure Lefty's going to get his attention. State's still playing a man-to-man. 38 to 31. Oh, look at that move between the legs. Ernest Graham lobs on the inside to Gibson, who draws the foul on Pender. Second personal foul on Tiny Pender, number 41. Seven point lead for Maryland at 38 to 31. Well, Graham is incredible in the fact that he doesn't have any basic moves. He has whatever move he needs to get the shot off. He threw that one back through the legs. He just dreams up plays. But he's a super young player. Larry Gibson will be at the line. He's third in the Atlantic Coast Conference rebounding here in the young season. Average over nine a game. Jim, I'd parallel him to the old stories about Yogi Berra as a hitter. You know, he used to hit the bad pitches. Well, Graham creates the bad shots that makes it. Maryland gets a break, recovering the missed uh, free throw. It goes Graham from 25 feet. 
That's not the shot they need right now. Tony Warren, rebound for State now. Clyde Austin on the fast break. Austin driving. Rebound is off by Maryland. Norm Powell, nobody saw it. Norm Sloan going crazy down there because he knows that Clyde Austin does not miss a layup without somebody hitting his arm. Three and a half minutes to go in the first half. This could be an important stretch here for both teams. Maryland once led by 15, now leading by 8, 39 to 31, and State with the ball. They can cut it to 7. Zone defense for the Terrapins. Yeah, they're all in the zone right now. Morley back into the ball game for Graham, trying to settle things down. Long one by Austin. Rebound is off by Parsons. Good move and a good block. Great by block by Gibson. That was a big play. On the fast break. Rebound by Reggie Jackson. Morley will set it up. And the fans appreciated that pass. Get it back out and work again. Good change of direction dribble by Reggie Jackson. Boy, he has that stutter dribble like JoJo Hunter used to do here. And he's being guarded by Matthews, another D.C. player out there. And there's Gibson for the stop. Larry Gibson's ninth point of the half. 41-31. Maryland's gone back to a 10-point lead. 2.40 to go. And Levin. back in the zone. Long one by Matthews. He loves to go against the zone. The foul will be on set up. The rebound by Gibson. And now Maryland beginning to take control again. You know, Jim, and I think it's all caused by offensive thinking on the part of both of these teams. When Maryland went into their cold spell, they were taking bad shots. State was making a good move to get back in the game, and now they are coming down and taking long bombs. Here's the one senior that does a lot of playing for Maryland, so this is a very young team, Larry Gibson. The other senior on the squad is Eric Schrader, and he saw them get in. Bonus shot now by Gibson, 42-31. Gibson's not a flashy player, but I'd, I'd have to say he's one of the most steady young players that have uh, been in this league in a long time. He gives you a solid performance almost every night. A very valuable player he is for the Maryland team. Scores over 14 points a game average this year. Ten rebounds he pulls down. He's been the leading rebounder for three straight years. 43-31. Now two and a half minutes go. Maryland's going to stay in the zone. Ball is kicked by Reggie Jackson. When you have Jackson out here on the wing, he's really an imposing figure. A tremendous physique on the young fellow. Oh! Inside. And a foul. Foul is on Bilney. Great catch. Basket is good, and Bilney gets the foul. What a lob. Amazing how often these fellas play above the rim. Beautiful pass that time. A great catch in timing. You're going to see the foul coming up right there. Nice play by Craig Watts, who's an improving ball player. Most improved player on the state team without question. A chance for a three-point play. Sophomore. Nice foul. Follow up by Parsons. There's one time that state missed from the free throw line, and it uh, paid off for them. 43-35. I don't think Gibson realized Parsons was there at the time. Man for man defense by State. Putting on pressure at the outside. Morley looks on the inside. Gives to Bilney. Bilney charges. Bilney charging right into the freshman Parsons. Second foul on Bilney. And State will get the ball. Trailing by eight. Parsons doing a good solid job in there. Another freshman who's... A widely recruited player. Looks like he's going to be a solid player also. Maryland waits in the zone. Hawkeye Whitney. To the Matha players, man. And Austin on. Rebound is taken off by Tony Warren, who feeds the pressure on the block. And we'll have a shot. A great block by Gibson. Super play. You know, jump ball. Let's see. I think it's going to be Maryland's ball, Bill. There you go. And there's Gibson. It wasn't even in his territory originally. And Gibson came over there. Absolutely super defensive play. I think they lost count, Bill. They're giving the ball to State. And I think that's two times a row. I don't know about you. Well, that arrow situation's tough to stay by. We got to get one of those Steve Martin things to put on top of the head of the man that's uh, in charge of the arrow because that's a tough job. And if you miss one of those, it could be a big play. There it is. Banking it in is Clyde Austin for his 10th point of the half. The leading scorer for State. 
43 to 37. Six point lead now. State has come back strong. Lefty wants to pull it back out, but he doesn't get the signal early enough. Good push off by Gibson. Gibson got away with it. Banks rebound is hauled in by Hawkeye Whitney. And Whitney fighting hard to hold the ball, and State will have a chance now to cut it to four with a minute to go. Ball is batted away by Reggie Jackson. That will call be, that'll be the fourth on Jackson, I think. There's where the freshman Jim gets you in some trouble. Jackson's going to be obviously a great, great player. But he comes down and, and makes a foul in the open field when he has three on him. The half only has a minute six to go. Didn't recognize they want to hold it for the last shot. Puts Clyde Austin on the line. And Austin will get the bonus. They to suffer from cold shooting at the line here in the first half. One for eight, now two for nine. 43 to 38. That cuts it to four points. State with a strong rally. Still a minute five to go in the first half. Maryland once leading by 15, and now it is down to four. And they'd best at this point hold it for the last shot unless they can get an uncontested play because they've let their lead yep, just get away from them. They spread out here. Maryland's going to try to wait for one shot. Pure point guard freshman here and Dutch Morley. Now one thing about Morley playing out here is the fact that he doesn't have the blistering speed to go all the way with the ball, but he's a very heady player. Manning, Manning driving, gets it inside. <laughs> Manning does have that great one-on-one -on -one move to take it down the hole. 45 to 39. 20 seconds to go. Now Hawkeye Whitney firing, hitting, and a foul. Fouls will be called on Manning of Maryland. First foul against Manning, and could be a big three-point play for State. Molly jumped over and drew the charge, and it was a, a good defensive play on his part. It wasn't called. And there was another slight touch, and then if you're a Maryland fan, you're really upset because then the final foul is called. Six points for Whitney, 45-41, 18 seconds to go in the half. Larry Gibson's going to go out. Taylor Baldwin will replace him. Just seconds to go in the half. Lefty Drizel doesn't want a chance, a third foul on Gibson. Three-point play by Whitney. Now here's Manning coming back for Maryland. 15 seconds to set up the play here for the final shot. And State goes into the zone. Manning oh, far inside. Pass. There he is. Albert King on the feed for Manning. Four seconds to go. Austin from 40 feet. Well, the start of the second half. No center jump here. Only at the beginning of the ball game. That's the new rule this year. Manning now brings it over. Here's Graham. Graham gets free. Look out. Right where he left off, 16 points. And you can't really blame Tony Warren in that particular case because he tried to go and help out when Clyde Austin lost his man in just that split second that he got away from, from Ernest Graham and Abel Graham to get his shot. 49 to 42. Maryland right back to a seven-point lead to start the second half. And man-to-man, -man, you can see that State probably spent a lot of time at halftime going over. Let's get in the offense, fellas. Bob pass the inside, goes to Craig Watts, but he walks. Traveling by Watts. Didn't quite catch the ball cleanly, and Maryland will get the ball in the turnover from backcourt. They screen it off for Manning. The state trying to pick up early so they can force Maryland out of any kind of a pattern. Here goes Graham again. Ernest Graham, he's so tall, he gets off the shot anyway, and there's Gibson right on the mark. Larry Gibson gets a uh, garbage basket, they used to call it, 51-42. to 42. Maryland by nine. Tony Warren now feeding Hawkeye Whitney. Whitney over Gibson. Gibson got the hand up there, or rather Buck Williams did, and Gibson pulls down the rebound. Pretty Buck. good defense by Buck. Excellent defense because Hawkeye Whitney is really good on that particular move in the baseline, and Williams stayed right with him. Now Maryland back to set offense. Albert King screening for Ernest Graham, banking it in. <laughs> It's all going right for him. 18 points. He's complaining on the way down the course. Hey, somebody hit my arm. I don't hit him off the board like that. He's an amazing guy. Maryland's got the first six points of the second half. It's 53 to 42. They screen it for Clyde Austin. The rebound is off by Williams. Now Graham. Great pass. Manning open. And Manning gets the basket. They're going to call goaltending, but it went anyway. So Manning now eight straight points. 
just as Maryland did at the outset of the game when they led 8 nothing. They've got the first eight points of the second half to go to a 13-point lead, 55-42. Just excellent play on the part of Maryland. Norm Sloan is really hot with Clyde Austin, who's the guy he counts on to get him in the offense, not take him out. And the ball has just been uh, kicked out by Maryland defensively, so State will have to put it back in play down here in the attacking court. Let's see if this drives Maryland to a zone defense. Well, Jim, a great crowd here tonight. Considering this, I mean, we've got a sellout crowd. The students aren't even on campus. And they're really being a factor in this game. There goes Kenny Matthews. He can fire it from outside. Oh, the oh, by boy. Williams. And then broken up by Tony Warren. He can't do that. Well, he stepped out of bounds <laughs> and came back. And Hawkeye Whitney with a great fake. Whitney on the follow-up. 55-44. Lefty Drizel really getting on Paul Hausman for letting Warren go out of bounds and come back and get the ball. Manning with a screen. And it'll go out to Maryland. Jim, I'm going to back up on that rule situation there before, and I guess Lefty backing up a little bit too because you would just assume that a man go over and get the ball, but that's a clean play by Tony Warren. All right, 55-44, 11-point lead by Maryland. Look at where Graham is. He's out of the three-point range. 20 points for our sophomore Ernest Graham. 57-44. That was one step from the deep corner. Broken up by Williams. A loose ball will be grabbed here, and here comes Ernest Graham. 22 points for Ernest Graham. Here goes on defense. Almost, boy, here goes Tony Warren driving for a layup and a blocking foul on there. That's the third time tonight that Tony has gone into the basket and created a situation where they called the block. Williams thought he had the angle, but Warren was moving in there really hard that time. That's the third foul on Buck Williams. We'll see it again. Here we see the play coming up. I'll be honest with you. I think Williams had position all the way on that one. That's the third time tonight that the call went the other way. Three fouls on Williams. And it'll be two shots now to Tony Warren. He was one for four in the first half. But as we said, he has an excellent free throw percentage on the year. Ah, that looked more like his form. And Clyde Austin back in the ball game after that little lecture he had over there. He's the man that State really has to count on to get back in the game because he controls that offense when they're running it well. Returning for State again is Glenn Sutup, replacing Craig Watts. Of course, you've got to give Ernest Graham the credit for this second half because he just made it impossible to handle. Full court pressure. Maryland will again uh, have to fight against the man-for-man -man pressure here in backcourt by State. And Jim, he's being guarded by Tony Warren, and I think everyone respects Tony as being one of the top big defensive guards in college basketball. There goes Ernest Graham, and now he's fouled by Warren, and Warren will pick up personal foul number two. Warren just charged through a screen at backcourt and then overtook Graham to foul. Well, I don't... Oh, hey, let's watch it again. I'll tell you something. Here we see. We won't see Tony Warren on the, knock on the floor, but he did come up with a foul right there, and Graham going to the line again. They're just going to have to get somebody to corral him. It looked like Hawkeye Whitney did a pretty decent job at the in the first half with him, being strong enough to go up with him chest to chest. This fellow's six foot seven, shoot right over the top of him. 23 points. Bill, I don't know whether Gardner-Webb's playing tonight or not, but if they're not, I'm sure we got one viewer... And Casey Graham, that's Ernest's brother, who plays for Gardner Webb, and a great player in his own right. 60-46. Maryland led briefly by 15. Good oh, pass. good screen on the inside by Tiny Pender. And Tiny just can't get anything to go down tonight. And he's the senior in the batch. Manning driving. Manning inside charges. That's a that's good the call. play that Manning used to try to make last year, Bill, and you thought he had gotten over well, you've got to give Pender credit. He missed the tough one down the other end, but hustled back defensively. Now, we'll see. He's in position. I think this is the same play we had down the other end of the floor a second ago. Ball control foul by Maryland. Turns the ball over to North Carolina State. Ernest Graham, a sophomore from Baltimore tonight, leading Maryland with 23 points at this juncture. And the Terrapins up by 14 at 60-46. to 46, With a lot of time to go, 16-45. Wyatt Austin back directing the attack. High post Watts hitting Pender down low. Pender still can't buy a basket. Follow up by Hawkeye Whitney. Great shot. Tiny Pender not 
Losing any confidence out there, putting the ball back up, which is the best thing to do. He knows he has the talent. Here he is again. Albert King's been kind of quiet in the second half. Why, King and Graham, what a pair. There goes Graham on the move, banking it. Oh, gosh, what a shot. 25 points for Graham. 62 to 48. He just creates things, Jimmy. He just floated on in that time. Pender driving his pass deflected. Right there's Buck Williams to pull it down from Maryland. And here's Graham again, a good touch pass. <laughs> <laughs> this is Ernest Graham. He hits this will bring a house down. I think lefty's saying, okay, Ernest, now you put on a show. Let's calm him down. They're going to have to get him out to calm him down. Yep, there goes Clyde Austin driving a nice drive by Clyde the Glide. That's why he got that name. 62 to 50, 12 point lead. Austin trying to steal in backcourt. Had Donnie Perkins in the game, a great athlete. Here goes Graham driving through traffic. 27 points for Graham. You know, and I had a feeling Lefty was going to take him out for a while. He doesn't know when he can calm him down. Here's Perkins yep. again. Good every, athlete, Donnie Perkins. Every game I've seen State play this year, that kid has come in and, and really put on a solid performance. Here goes Graham again. Nice catch by Graham. He'll get off the shot. Wow! Oh! Unbelievable! Ernest Graham, 29 points. Norm Sloan sitting on one knee down there. He can't believe it either. What a performance. 66 to 52. There's Pender driving. Hit the back of the bank ward on the block. And it'll be stage ball. Back in, Tony Warren. And we're going to get a timeout right here. There's timeout on the court with a score. Maryland 66, North Carolina State 52. Came out, Ernest Graham was going down to get a drink of water, and Billy said, sit down, and Billy went and got him a cup of water and brought it back. I think this is a brilliant substitution by Lefty, though. The young guy had to really be getting tired. He's letting him sit down and relax, and of course he comes in with a player like Jackson, so how much do you fall off? Well, plus he really has to get the other players on the floor of things, Bill, because they're sort of sitting back watching Graham. So am I. Tough, tough not to do that. <laughs> Low one by Austin. Rebound the inside, taken by Reggie Jackson from Maryland. And they went to the zone that time. Now the two freshman guards in the ball game. That's Morley, 21, teaming with Reggie Jackson. Moreland feeds it on the inside. There's Williams, and Williams tips out the rebound. Takes it, rather, on the tip out. Albert King kept it alive, and that name hasn't come up much tonight. Let's see if he gets any offensive flow now. With yep, there he goes, Albert King driving the ball. Graham sits down and King goes to work. 68-52. Biggest lead of the game for Maryland, 16 points. Pender driving down the middle, and he is blocked to the foul by Maryland. The tiny got away with one there. That's Gibson's third foul. And he hasn't scored, has he, Jim, Tiny Pender? Pender has not scored, and he's averaging 12.6 a game. Back in is Kenny Matthews, the best outside shooter, perhaps, for North Carolina State. Donnie Perkins sits down. Scott Parsage returns. Craig Watts goes out. Jim, you mentioned a, a guy like Matthews who is an outstanding shooter, but when the team does not get an opportunity to get in their offense, a guy like Kenny Matthews never gets a chance to take a shot. Albert King went down and was hiding behind the TV screen. Nobody saw him, so he got back in the action. Tiny Pender, two shots. That's his first point tonight. So he had had a, quite a drought here through the first half and down to the 13.55 mark. Lots of time yet to go. You'll notice State has a very small team in the game right now. Warren's actually probably going to move up, play a little forward position. Yes, he is. He's going to guard King. Parsons probably going to be the center. Gibson working on Parsons for the soft hook. And there is Albert King on the follow, draws the foul on Pender. Watch Williams. Williams gets the rebound. Pender fouls him. Three foul, four fouls now on Tiny Pender of North Carolina State. You know, Williams reminds me a great deal of Albert King's brother Bernard as far as his rebounding technique. He moves his feet, Jim, very well and gets underneath the ball so that he's going straight up. He doesn't reach for rebound. Got a good look here at Buck Williams, rookie of the week in the Atlantic Coast Conference. Well, this guy is six foot eight, weighs 215. He ran the mile. Now, get this. 
He ran the mile in 4.59. Incredible. Isn't it? Dutch Morley's got the rebound from Maryland. 69-54. And there's Larry Gibson open at the line. Rebound will be put up by Williams on the inside. Up that was Albert King. King with his 13th point. Maryland's got his biggest lead. 17 points with 13 20 to go. Clyde Austin driving underneath oh, for the first shot. layup. Pretty play by Austin. Powerful performance thus far by the University of Maryland. Right here with 13 minutes to go. Whistle off the ball. There's Tony Warren on a hold. Now what's happening? King is taking him down the center position. Gibson's moving out with Steve Warren on the inside against King all by himself. That's a tough assignment. Well, Warren uh, probably is the best defensive player on the state team. But covering uh, Albert King is a tough assignment. Glenn Sutter being set back here by Norman Sloan. Scott Parsons goes out. Hawkeye Whitney returns, replacing Warren. So Sutter gives State now a big man in the line. Of course, now they went from a small team to a rather large team with Art Jones in the game, set up in Whitney. Morley's got a lot of savvy out there. Yep. State's in a zone, and Maryland recognizes it. He sees it. He pulls it back out and gets in the offense. Well, Maryland's going to set it up here. And set it up for King. Driving King tries to bank, but he draws the foul. King foul in play. He spotted that zone, Bill, and went to a play. Excellent play that time by Albert King and also by Dutch Morley. He pulled it back out, saw what the defense was, got everybody organized. And well, Jim, you know, that's not only important from the standpoint of getting good shots. It's very important from a standpoint of having an opportunity to rebound a missed shot because your teammates are in position to know what's going on. Well, Albert King got more rebounds than any freshman in Maryland history last year, 187 of them. And some felt he didn't have a spectacular freshman year expected of him. One thing that's uh, here's to Ernest Graham returning. Listen to the hand for him replacing Reggie Jackson. And Morley's saying, give us a few seconds to get you back in the game, Ernest. We're in a certain offense. Two by King moves Maryland back to a 17-point lead. 73 to 56. Good play by Morley. Yep. And look at his savvy. He's telling the referee, I nipped it, and the other man touched it. Whether it happened or not, it was a super act. Clock shows 12.35 to go. Pretty good pressure defense by Morley. And he's, here's Hawkeye Whitney on the move. Whitney now with 13 points. He and Austin leading the scoring attack for North Carolina State. They're down by 15. Now right. here goes Graham again. Graham goes up in the air and draws the foul on Whitney, which will be his third. And normally, Jim, if you're a guard and you're being guarded by Hawkeye Whitney and you put the ball over your head after you've lost a dribble, you'll never get the shot off. But Graham is 6'7". You'll see him coming. He pushed off and got away with a little foul there. Now watch him put the ball over his head and still have an opportunity to get off the shot. One thing that he has done uh, badly here tonight on a minus factor, negative factor, he missed his only free throw of the year. He's gone six for six of them, right? He's one for two. 29 points. Has a chance here to score his 30th point. That hand you heard was for Larry Gibson as he's taken from the lineup. They come back in with uh, Baldwin, Taylor Baldwin, a 6'10 freshman. Jim, before this game tonight, Graham had taken 39 more shots than anybody on the Maryland team, but he had only gone to the line six times. Now, if you're scouting against the Maryland club, you've got to say, hey, the guy doesn't put the ball on the floor and penetrate, so you've got to stay right up with him, make him pick up that dribble. Well, 31 points is his career high in scoring. 75-58. Did you see Williams stay with Clyde Austin defensively? There goes inside piece to set up. Set up blocked by Baldwin, but he fouled it. Well, the freshman Taylor Baldwin, 6'10", stayed right with Glenn Setup, but did foul him. And you'll see it with the body. No question about the call. Austin got inside. Morley forced him to take away the good shot. And there was Baldwin in, in pretty good position, but he did get a piece of the arm. Set up will go to the line. He was 0 for 1 in the first half and scored six points. Two 
three shots to set up. Well, his career has been one of inconsistency, Bill, but I'll never, ever forget the performance he had against Duke. Tony Warren might have broken a plane that time. You can see what kind of leaper he is. He came from the back side and could have put that through with his forehead. 75-59 now. They're going to Albert King here on the wing. King on the move. Banking. That's a great shot. 77-59. Longest lead of the game. 18 points by Maryland. Our Jones in close range. Rebound. Baldwin tried to take it away from Sunop and kicked it out of bounds. Well, you can see how exasperated State is. Art Jones had a 15-foot jumper and passed that up to make a tougher shot. 11.40 to go, and there's time out on the court for the score. Maryland, 77. North Carolina State, 59. Clock shows there's a lot of time to go in this game. 11 minutes and 40 seconds. But right now, University of Maryland, Lefty Grizzell's Terrapins, and a very impressive performance here against the nation's fourth-ranked team, North Carolina State. Has to be Maryland's top performance of the year up to now, at least. 77 to 59, the Terps lead. They're in a zone. Good, Good move. move. Okay, Whitney. That's his quickest move tonight, now with 15 points. When you penetrate through a zone the way he did there, he just left them standing like toy soldiers. Great play. Here's Ernest Graham again in traffic, trying to dump it on the inside. Draws the foul from Tony Warren. Fourth foul by Warren. It looks to me now, Bill, like uh, Maryland shifted gears again, and they've gone down to a little more deliberate tempo, and they're going to look for high percentage shots, try to force State to be over-anxious and foul. Well, you may be right, but I think this fell on the line, and, and Albert King back there have such great offensive individual moves that when they get the ball, they feel they can score every time they touch it. Well, we keep you up with Ernest Graham scoring annex. That's 32 points. 33. His all-time career scoring high. And here they are back that full-court zone press, and they've been able to keep state off balance with it. There goes Hawkeye Whitney Good getting over. Whitney now beginning to warm up. 79-63. Dutch Morley. Ernest Graham getting free, made dunk, takes it in, draws the foul by Sunop. He was going to dunk that one. It's about the only thing he has not done tonight. Third foul on Sunop. See him coming down the baseline. I think you're right, Jim. He looked over the competition, said, I'm going to take it to the basket. You're going to have to stop my best one, which is what Glenn Sunop tried to do. Now here's the other facet that makes him such a complete player is that he's a brilliant free throw shooter. Tonight he's 6 for 7. He is 12 for 13 on the year. And there are a couple of more. 35 points. And there they are in that zone press again. Buck Williams all the way back. Whitney again. Feeding the set up, but he may have walked. Or he may have drawn the foul. He drew the foul. The foul's on Taylor Baldwin. Third foul on him. Yeah, I'm impressed with Baldwin, although statistically he hasn't had a big game. The big guy stays right in there, takes up a lot of room, has pretty good balance. It's amazing, you know, that uh, he even gets into play, Billy, with the talent that's ahead of him on this team. But he's played a great deal to that tonight. Well, Lefty Grizzell hasn't hesitated to put him in. Sunhop up, he'll have two. One thing has worked for Maryland and has not worked for State is when Lefty Giselle is substituted, it seems that no matter what lineup has been in there, they've coordinated fairly well. Norm Sloan, the other hand, who normally gets a play when he switches lineups, has never really been able to, to have his team get back together. Put up by Tony Warren on the inside. That ball must have just barely ticked the rim. Warren did that same move the last time down and uh, came up with a good play, and that time nobody blocked him out. 81-66 turns into an unusual three-point play. Buck Williams feed inside is broken up by Hawkeye Whitney. Now State trying to ignite a rally here. They score the last three points. Our Jones gets around. Baldwin scores. 
You can feel that tide. A lot of time in this game. Explosive teams. Yep, and Maryland felt it. The Terrapins want to stop the clock here with 10 minutes to go. So there's timeout on the court. The score, Maryland 81 and State 68. The Holly Farm Scholarship Award, a $1,000 grant, is presented through the office of the ACC Commissioner of the School of the Outstanding Player of this game, as chosen by the game announcers. And we'll be naming that player later. A lot of time yet to go. Ten minutes and 16 seconds. Tim, don't, don't you get the feeling that this game is going to get tight again before it breaks open? Yep. Just as it did in the first half. And Lefty made a substitution bringing Manning and Gibson back in the ball game. Lob pass now. There goes Graham. Right. Oh, what a change of direction. He just hesitated a little bit on the baseline and took it in there. 37 points. He's putting on a clinic. For Ernest Graham. Just a sophomore. We just missed that little change up that he put on him, but he is putting on a clinic of offensive moves tonight. 83-68. Hawkeye Whitney now getting on the move. Hawkeye is warming to the occasion. There was a foul on the play, I guess, Maryland, and this could be a very key play right here because State scored on the play, and now they're going to get a one-and-one. One. Well, let's see. That's only five fouls. They'll get back the ball. That was Larry Gibson on a push-off on the inside, trying to get position. Could be a four-point play at least, maybe more, for North Carolina State. 83-70. The lead is 13. Tiny Pender returns for Jones. And if you're Norm Sloan, you put Tiny back in the ball game. you know the guy can give you a big performance. State right now being led in this surge here by Hawkeye Whitney, and there he is. Whitney, great move by Hawkeye. Now 21 points for Whitney. 83-72. Long pass to Manning. And a great block there by Warren. Tony Warren. Back on the other way is Kenny Matthews. Tipped up by Sutter. And State now making another surge. And a run at Maryland. 83-70. Cut the lead to nine. They cut it in half. They trail by 18 points. They're looking for Graham, and I I think we're going to see Albert King get back in this ball game because it seems like all the Maryland players are looking at Graham right now and say, get us out of the hole. They need another score in there. All right, Jones is going to return. Tony Warren will go back out. Boy, didn't Hawkeye Whitney give him a great four or five minutes of basketball? Certainly did. Now Hawkeye's getting a rest. It's been a game of spurts and surges, and here's a foul by set up on Gibson. Good foul. Fourth foul. Trying to reach over the quicker Gibson. I think Glenn Setup shows some of the best facial expression of anybody ever played the game when he gets caught for foul. Gibson will get the one and one. Free throw here if he makes it a bonus. Had his big night, 19 points against Bucknell. His all-time high, though, was against North Carolina State. That was last year in a memorable three-overtime tournament game. Larry scored 27 points. Quite a performance. Tonight he has 14. Rebound taken by Manning. There's the quickness again paying off. Every time he touches the ball, the fans just kind of go, ooh. Graham That's trying fine. to drop it off, and it's broken up. Here comes State with a chance to score. Clyde Austin on the break. Austin coming through. 84-76. Eight-point lead by Maryland. They once led by 18 on two or three occasions. Ooh, a dangerous pass. Yep. Almost throw away, and Manning gets underneath for a layup and draws the foul. And what a play by Manning. And set up making a protest, leaves the court, but it's going to be his fifth foul. He is now 30 feet from the court. Now he's going to come back down the entranceway. Well, it was his fifth foul, Bill. He's just very much into this rally that his team has going. Well, he wants those fellows to stay fired up. He's really helped. Now, here's the play. And I'll tell you, be honest with you, I couldn't see much of a confrontation there between those two players. Norm Sloan wanted to find out what's going on. He's lost his center. Manning, with a lot of hustle, picked up uh, what was a loose ball that could have been disastrous for Maryland. Well, it also puts Maryland's top free thrower back at the line. And uh, Manning, top free throw at this stage, hitting 86%. Eight and a half minutes to go in the game. 
84-76. Bonus shot for Manning. Big play indeed because it moves Maryland back to a 10-point lead. And Block they're going to call a foul on Morley, I think, for holding. Right, he was hanging in there trying to prevent the pass from coming in bounds. And Jim, there was a nice gesture by Norm Sloan when Glenn Sutup sat down over there. And I'm sure a, place, a player appreciates it. He went over and shook hands, and I'm, I'm sure he was... Uh, was telling him that it was a great effort, which it had been on Sutup's case. Now let's see what Hawkeye Whitney can create now. He's had a little rest. Hawkeye went on quite a, a splurge there a moment ago. He has 21 points in the game. One and one out of Craig Watts. There's still a lot of time in this ball game. 8.32 to go, and you can just feel it swinging back and forth. Right now, Watts can cut the margin back to eight points. North Carolina State banking on its quickness here to get itself back in the ballgame. Quickness and its experience. And, of course, one of the savvy players out there, Dutch Morley. And what a night this young man's had. 37 points. Ernest Graham batted out by Kenny Matthews. So Maryland will put it right back in play. Maryland's not trying to eat off some clock, and State's going to ask for a timeout. So Norman Sloan wants to talk. And Jim, uh, that was a very unusual timeout from the standpoint of State calling it. But I think what Norm Sloan could sense that Maryland's going to start thinking about sitting on that ball a little bit, and he wanted to get his team organized as to how they're going to handle it. Almost turned over by Morley. Backdoor pass, and the under Beautiful. goes to Gibson, and a foul on the play. Beautiful work on Buck Williams to Larry Gibson. I'm just amazed at what a total player Buck Williams is. He does a good job defensively. He's a great rebounder, but look at this pass he makes right here. Beautiful bounce pass by Morley. Super inside pass by Williams, and a good layup by Gibson. That was as uh, well executed a play as you'll ever see. Also, it was the fifth foul against Tony Warren. So, State's going to lose a key player here, too. That's the second one they've lost. Warren scored 11 points in the game. He leaves with 8.02 to go. The last time an ACC player scored 40 points in a conference game was February 18th, 1976. Tate Armstrong got uh, 40. Rebound hauled off by Buck Williams. And a technical foul has just been called against the state bench, which means two free throws will go to Maryland, and they'll keep the ball. Well, they had the ball anyway because of Williams' great rebound. And you know Norm Sloan has to be frustrated, as, as the state players are, because every time they make a move on Maryland, Maryland comes back with a big play. Well, here's something for you, Billy. With a great Graham game that uh, Ernest Graham's having, lefty still goes to Greg Manning here to shoot the technical free throws. And there's why, I guess. He's five for five tonight. He has excellent motion. He was a great free throw shooter last year and, and looks like he has supreme confidence on the line. Now it'll be Maryland's ball at midcourt. That'll put the Terrapins back into a 12-point lead at 90-78 to 78 with eight minutes to go. They like to get that ball in the hands of Morley and get something going so everybody calms down. Good defense by State. Here goes Hawkeye Whitney banking in. Whitney's been a man that's leading State back here if they can pull it out. 90 to 80. They want that ball in Morley's hands. He's looking for the back door. They got Morley and Manning both out there. Manning has that ability to penetrate so well and also can go to the basket well off the back door. And there's Ernest Graham feeding up to the Williams for the stop. Wow, Buck Williams for the slam dunk. Ernest Graham has got a, a leg cramp right now. He wants timeout. Of course, Albert King's going to come in for him. He's best just standing there and relaxing. Tipped up on the inside by Pender, and as Craig Watts goes for the rebound, he's fouled by Dutch Morley. I'm not so sure Morley didn't make that foul just to help him get Graham out of the ball game. You can see Graham limping out here. He's going to go off. Graham's going to the uh, Maryland bench right now. Spectacular game he's had tonight. 37 points he scored. Right there he is. 
I'm, uh, I'm sure it's a leg cramp that he's got because he didn't come down hard or, or off balance. But a smart play by Morley, and let's give him credit for making that as a smart play, and whether he did or not, Jim, because I just have a lot of respect for his court savvy. Rebounds off by Larry Gibson. And so here he is again. Seven minutes to go on the game. Maryland has the ball with a 12-point lead. Dutch Morley driving through as the ball batted away. It'll still be Maryland's ball here under the Terrapin basket. Albert King now back in the Maryland lineup. Boy, you lose an Ernest Graham, you pick up an Albert King. And you know, King was really the key in, in this second half surge and the fact that he just took the ball to the basket so well. Yep, there's holding by Kenny Matthews. It may come down on the bottom line here to Maryland at the free throw line, and the Terrapins have been pretty good in that category. In the second half alone, they hit about 17 out of 20. There goes Ernest Graham to the Maryland locker room for the treatment, but the way he was moving, Bill, I think his cramps are covered. Well, you know, you talked about free throw shooting, Jim. When you look out there on the floor, Buck Williams is a good-looking free throw shooter as a big man. Gibson, we know, is a good free throw shooter. Manning is excellent. Morley's excellent. So down the line, even though this is a young team, they should be very tough to handle if they get on that foul. Bonus shot coming for Manning. He's been perfect tonight. The night, six for six and 12 points, which is his average. He thought he'd miss that one. Well, when you have a good follow-through like he does, excellent rotation. You get a couple of breaks every once in a while. 94-80. Manning almost there. It is batting away to Dutch Moore. Moore coming in on oh, and Pender fouls Moore. Heine's had one of those nights where not much has gone right for him, and I know he's got to be frustrated. Well, it's a fifth foul for Pender, so becomes the third state player to foul out of the ball game. Only two points for Pender tonight. And he's replaced by Art Jones. That was good teamwork, though, by Morley and Manning combining for the seal. There's Pender, number 41. Two free throws with his output tonight. He scored 22 against Texas A&M. I bet you saw that. Yes, it did. Uh, outstanding ball game that he had right there. Here you have Morley on the line. Graham's limping back out there. It looks like that cramp's going to tie him up. And the way his teammates are playing, he's not going to be needed back in there. Morley played for the nation's number one ranked high school team last year. The Matha of Hightsville, Maryland. 27-0 they were. 96-80. to 80. Boy, these teams are going to help their high scoring averages. Long one by Donnie Perkins on the outside for State. 96-82. We still have six and a half minutes to go. And it's uh, conceivable here that both will go over the 100 mark just as they did the last time they played. Back door to King who tries to dump it inside to Williams. Back to King for an easy one. But she missed. Whitney out to Perkins. Perkins will let it go off the break. And the rebound oh, by what a Clyde rebound, Austin. Mike. Clyde Austin was flying through the air. That's 20 points for Austin. 96-84. And still six minutes to go in this ball game, Jim. Billy, State has its average in scoring right now, which leads the Atlantic Coast Conference, and they're trailing by 12. Beautiful backdoor. Manning inside to Buck Williams. It was too easy for him. The rebound is out to Manning. Manning penetrating again, hooking it up inside and scoring. He has uncanny ability to get that shot off on the inside. To be quite honest with you, he'd been probably better off taking it back out and getting something started, but he always seems to be able to get the shot off. Watch it again. Ball bounced around. Hawkeye Whitney thought he had it. Manning's really coming up with a lot of loose balls. Here's an excellent move on the inside with a punt fake. Gets it off, gets fouled. The shot goes in, and you put him on the line. I wonder if that scorebook man puts it down before he even gets the shot off. 15 points for Manning. He's had an outstanding performance. It's so easy to get lost in the shadows of Ernest Graham in this game, but Manning has been outstanding also. 99-84. to 84. Maryland by 15 points. Still a lot of time to go, I we'll tell you that. 15 Five and a half minutes. Art Jones now Parsich on the inside. Foul by Williams. Four fouls by Buck Williams of Maryland. 
Well, Jim, you know, this game is such a high-scoring game, and you'd say, well, they're not playing any defense, but to be quite honest, I, I think they've played some decent individual defense, but some of the shots have been just so good that they, they can't stop each other. There's a man played for an undefeated high school team, too, Scott Parsons. This team won the Illinois State Championship last year from Lockport. Good-looking young player. Art Jones has the offensive rebound. Hawkeye was up over the rim. <laughs> rebound. And it'll go out of bounds to Mel. Well, you know, Hawkeye has a lot of pride involved in this game. He always plays with a lot of pride. But being right here in his own backyard, he's, I'm sure, getting a bunch of razzing whenever he plays in a Maryland game that State doesn't come out on top. Well, I think, Bill, that maybe uh, the, the Matha team this year, another great one, by Morgan Wooten may be watching this telecast. They probably finished down in Gastonia tonight where they played against a great player, James Worthy. So they're looking on it uh, here, the Dutch Morley and Hawkeye Whitney. Reggie Jackson in the game handling that ball now. And Jackson's fouled as he dribbles in over the line. Foul is on Kenny Matthews. Kenny Matthews. Kenny Matthews, another one from D.C. That'll bring uh, number three off the state bench again. Clyde Austin replacing Matthews. And up the line, we'll get to see Reggie Jackson's free-throwing form. It's excellent, Jim. We watched him earlier in that first half. He stays right with the shot. They just have a lot of fellas that can play the game. 100 points. Maryland hits 100 points with 5 minutes and 12 seconds to go. We're going to have to go to the record books, Bill. I don't know what Maryland's record is. That's 101 and over 5 minutes to go. And a good free throw shooting team. You know they're going to go the line. App State's not going to freeze it. There goes Whitney. Oh, he's having a great game. He has. That's 27 points for Hawkeye Whitney. 25 points. 101 to 86. Manning really playing well without the ball as far as his backdoor movement. Jackson handled that ball. Freshman uh, six. Maryland one. spreading out, and now they're looking for the easy shot. This is their version of four corners. Reggie Jackson dealing it off to uh, Building. Maryland, a little cat and mouse game here. Now Manning here is penetrating, draws the foul. Well, Manning is such a great free thrower. They feel like it's almost two points if he can get fouled. That for Jones is personal number three. Manning has a very quick first step also. He goes to the hoop well and extends himself when he gets up around the basket. Tough man to handle. And Reggie Jackson liked that point position on the four-corner situation. So even with Morley out of the game and Graham out of the game and... Williams out of the ball game. This is still a tough, tough team. And Billy Bryan hadn't even gotten into the game. I remember now, Bill, looking it up. Oh, there's the first miss tonight from the line by Manning. 102 to 86. I don't think Merrill will hit the 130 they did against East Carolina. Albert King just snatched the ball out of the midair. 102 86. Maryland in the lead with 4.15 to go. Maryland in a four corner spread out. Jackson give and go to King, who fumbled the ball walking. King had a good uh, two-on-one situation set up with Larry Gibson, but may have taken his eye off the ball. I think you're right, Jim. He was going to make the pass before he had made the catch. 102-86. Here's our man, Hawkeye, again. There he goes. 27 points for Hawkeye Whitney. 102-88. Reggie Jackson, Albert King. Oh, you got some great ball handlers in the lineup here. Good fake by Bilney. Bilney to Gibson. Hey, Maryland's worked on this a little, Bill. Beautiful Under to Bilney. Bilney for the layup, and he'll follow his own shot. Rebound is off by Hawkeye Whitney. Wyatt Austin. 3-2 break. Hawkeye, good touch pass to Paris. Oh, nice play, and credit Hawkeye Whitney. Paris is getting the go. There's the drive by Manning on the return. 104-90. There's the case again. You have your guard penetrating. The other guard in the game is Donnie Perkins, who likes the rebound. A man wide open to the other end. 
Rebound, Bilner. To King, bounce pass to Manning, and Manning gets the basket on the foul. Good team. Boy, Manning having some game also. 21 points for Manning. Beautiful layup on the inside by Manning. Jones came a long way and applied Austin also to try to come up with the play. Manning kind of in a cherry pick situation. Great point play by Manning, 107 to 90. State's having to put it up, and there you go again. Now King, King will dunk it. There's no second guard in the game right now, Jim, so everybody's penetrating and the game getting away from them completely. Anytime that Clyde Austin's inside, nobody's back down court. Hawkeye Whitney back for his 29th point. 109-92. Down the middle, Manning. Manning driving on a... Oh! Stunned over the sideline. Let's go back. To Ernest Graham, the guy that set the stage for this kind of game. The fans are loving it. And if you're a state player or state coach or state follower, these are one of those nights you just say, we don't want to take any prisoners. Let's get out of here. That just tied Greg Manning's all time career high 25 points. 112 to 92. Hawkeye Whitney, other end. Rebound. Tipped off on the side, but State will take it. And Parsons can't hold it. Right through Parsons' hands. Maryland will get the ball with 2.15 remaining. 112 to 92. A 20 point lead by Maryland. Oh, what a powerful performance by the Terrapins. Ball is kicked down here by Matthews. Say this for State, though, they haven't given an inch so far. Well, they're not going to any time this year. It's a, you know, an outstanding ball club. It's not like we're seeing Maryland beat somebody that can't play. Clyde Austin just went off, and he sat down the end of the bench, and I know this kind of game has to make him feel bad, but this is a fine State team. They're just having a, a night in which they're playing against a team that's red hot. Albert King working down against the press. Reggie Jackson penetrating, lost it away. Now State will have a chance. Hawkeye Whitney feeding to Jones. Good drive by Jones. Basket's good, and there's a foul on the play on Manning. Well, Lefty normally might argue with that one a little bit, but good hustle by Jones. Fair play on the inside. Good passing and teamwork. Here you go, Albert King coming on through there, slammed it down. Back here tonight where Ernest Graham led the early surge for Maryland. There he is. Ernest Graham is coming back in the game. Billy needs one more field goal to tie Gene Chu's all-time record at 16. And he is our pick for the player of the game. So the Holly Farm Scholarship Award, a $1,000 grant, will be presented to the office of the ACC Commissioner to the University of Maryland as the outstanding player here tonight, Ernest Graham. Well, you have two things happening right now. You have Maryland trying to let Graham, and I'm sure Lefty was told that he has a chance to break the record, come back in the game. But during that timeout, you had the state team really huddle around and pull together as a ball club. you got to say, forget tonight's game, but we're going to pull on and, and be ready for some more. There he goes. That's it. That ties the record set by Gene Shu back in 1953. 25 years ago. Now there's a foul at the other end. I think Lefty's going over to tell Reggie Jackson to go ahead and get that ball to Ernest one last time. That's the one that tied the record, Bill, right here. You know, the thing about his offensive play, Jimmy, is he, he's never in a hurry. He just kind of glides around and looks for an opening, goes one way or the other, and gets off the shot. Looks like he's not even working hard. I tell you, Hawkeye Whitney's had a great game, uh, Bill. 31 points. But nobody's going to remember it after what Ernest Graham has done here. 
Well, I'm, I'm watching the state bench right now, and they're getting some real good leadership. And this may sound like a ridiculous statement, but Tony Warren and Tony Pender and Clyde Austin, those fellas over there are really disappointed and mad about this. David Henderson has come in to replace uh, Larry Gibson. John Bilney. And Dutch Borley on the fast break. North Carolina State still put it fly in the pressure. Ernest Graham needs one field goal here to set an all-time record. And here goes Reggie Jackson on the drive. 116 to 97. 115 to go. Hawkeye Whitney again, over 30 points. Oh, now. what a play. 35 points for Hawkeye Whitney in this game. That's his high of the year. And he's playing Graham right now, and he doesn't want to give him anything. Personal foul on the play is against uh, young Steve Wolf of North Carolina State, a freshman. That's an incredible shot right here because Hawkeye's a little bit off balance, get hit right there, lays it up anyway, concentrates very well. He knew it was in there. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Director of Athletics Willis Casey and Head Basketball Coach Norman Sloan, his staff, and Sports Information Director Ed Seaman from North Carolina State. And from the University of Maryland, our thanks to the Director of Athletics Carl James, Head Basketball Coach Lefty Grizzell and his staff, and Sports Information Director Jack Zane for their help in tonight's telecast. Our thanks also to our stage manager, Bob Royster. They just announced, Jim, that uh, Ernest Graham had tied a record... He also has 39 points, so one more point will be the first 40-point game since 1976. 1975-76 season, three seasons ago, by Tate Armstrong. Scored 40 for Duke. Reggie Jackson. Boy, he's a solid performer, isn't he? There's been some players out of Philadelphia recently. Gene Banks, Jackson, Andre McCarter. All the way back to Wilba still, I guess. They keep coming. 118 to 99. Looks like both teams might have hit 100. One minute to go. Long one by Matthews. And that'll put North Carolina State. And for the second time in a row, these two teams score over to... Here goes Graham. Oh! Pick a cheap one to do it, didn't he? And he's going to make a steal. Here he goes. Graham. Graham will take it in. And he gets oh, this is unbelievable. 43 points for Ernest Graham, our player of the game. And he's fouled, and he doesn't even care. He's going over the bench and sit down. That was some play. Look at him. He's laughing out there now. And if you watch that state bench... Those fellas are going to sit over there and remember this night. And, of course, if you're Maryland, you say we're going to have our day in the sun. Ernest Graham. And he's only a sophomore, ladies and gentlemen. So Graham now will be at the line for a three-point try. That's 44 points for Ernest Graham, our player of the game. 123-101. Hawkeye Whitney. And a follow-through and a technical foul on our judge. Well, Jones grabbed the rim, automatic technical foul. Be sure to join us for our next ACC game, January 3rd. We'll bring in the Tigers of Clemson. They're undefeated right now. They'll play the Tar Heels of North Carolina from Greensboro. That's on January 3rd. <laughs> they let Graham take the ball of the technical free throw and he missed it. And I got a feeling left him never do that again. Well, they're going to take Graham out of the ball game, and he certainly deserves an applause. I'm Jim, in a, we haven't had a game in a long time where one man took over uh, in this type of competition and just set the stage. 44 points. But the further truth of the uh, situation is, Bill, that he got most of them in the early stages when Maryland was getting its lead. He's the man that led them from the outset. First of all, Schrader will go the line here. Let's watch Graham one more time. Here he comes down the court. This is the big one that broke the record. He just faded on out of bounds, put it right down through the net. And, Jim, you know, I watched him in practice. That's a shot that he works on. You're, you're supposed to shoot your jump shot, go up in the air, and come down in the same spot. He very seldom's anywhere near where he took off. 
Well, it's just an example of the incredible basketball you see in the Atlantic Coast Conference. I hope you'll be with us all season long. 124 to 103. Maryland's going to be the winner here. And there's a whistle at midcourt. A little collision out there, but Schrader got in there too late. Personal foul on Eric Schrader, senior from Malvern, Pennsylvania. Doesn't get to play that much, but everybody's playing tonight. There's Ernest Graham. Is he happy? I hope Casey Graham... I hope uh, Gardner-Webb had an open day tonight, Bill, in case he gets to see this. Because it was a memorable moment for his uh, big brother. Kenny Matthews, what a pure shooter he is for State. Bonus shot coming. Norm Sloan on his feet over there, and I'm sure he's getting in a few licks at a couple of referees. He doesn't have anything to lose at this point. 124 to 105. 20 seconds of interception here by Art Jones. And a follow-up is Matthews has got it, and he is fouled by Moreland. All the points mount up. 231 points right now by the two teams. I don't know what the record is for two teams. We'll have to look it up. Great point play by Matthews. You can see Kenny and all the state players still hustling defensively. That's a good sign. And Hawkeye Whitney's still in the game out there, Jim. He's played a, just an outstanding game under tough conditions when you get this far down. That's the new record for Maryland. I don't know about ACC, Bill, but the new record for Maryland. Here's a tip in underneath by Hawkeye Whitney. 37 points, maybe an all-time high. One second to go, that'll be it. So 124 to 110, all-time record as far as Maryland is concerned for both teams, and a record performance.